Good morning students. Let's continue with chapter number 6, bar graph, module 2. In this module, we are going to learn how to draw a bar graph. We'll deal with practice set 19. Dear children, please note some numbers 3, 5, 6, 7 are omitted from the portion. Dear children, let's start with sum number 1, the names of the heads of some families in a village and the quantity of drinking water the family consumes in one day are given below. Draw a bar graph for this data. Now, the bar graph has to be drawn and the data is given in the form of the table. Names and liters of water used by their families. Now let's read the table. Ramesh's family, family of Ramesh consumes 30 liters of water. Shobha's family consumes 60 liters of water. Ayub's family consumes 40 liters of water. Julie's family consumes 50 liters of water. Rahul's family consumes 55 liters of water. Now let's start drawing the scale. Let's draw the graph now. Now when we start drawing the graph, we are going to draw one horizontal line, horizontal line which is going to be called as x-axis. Next, we'll be leaving 2 centimeters from the left and we'll be drawing a vertical line called as y-axis. Let's label them. X-axis will be labeled with capital X. Y-axis will be labeled as capital Y. Let's go ahead. After this, when we read the question, we can see names of heads is given. So this names of the heads of families is going to be taken on the x-axis. So we'll label it names of the heads. And in the question, we have been given quantity of drinking water their family consumes in one day. This quantity is going to be taken on the y-axis. So let's label the y-axis quantity of drinking water consumed by family in one day. Now next scale has to be written on the top of the graph and scale is already given in the question that is on y-axis 1 centimeter is equals to 10 liters of water. Now let's write the names on the x-axis. Now we'll be leaving 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter gap will be left after the y-axis and this 1 centimeter is going to be used for Ramesh, then next one centimeter will be leaving. Next, this one centimeter will be taken up by Shobha. Then next, we'll be leaving one centimeter, and then third, we'll be writing Ayub. And then one centimeter will be left, and then next, Julie. We'll be leaving one centimeter and then next last is Rahul. Let's mark the points on the y axis and number them. This is zero. Then next, as the scale is one centimeter is equals to 10 liters of water. So after zero, this is a starting point. This here we complete one centimeter. This is two centimeters, three, four, five, six, seven. So one centimeter is equals to 10. So this first point is 10. 
then next point was 2 centimeters so 2 into 10 is 20 third point is at a distance of 3 centimeter so 3 into 10 is 30 likewise 40 50 60 and 70 now let's start drawing the bars that is rectangles now let's read the question Ramesh family consumes 30 liters of water so we'll be drawing first vertical line of 3 centimeters which corresponds to 30 liters of water one more vertical line of same height that is 3 centimeter which corresponds to 30 now the top of both of these lines will be joined by a horizontal line so the rectangle is complete let's go ahead for shobha shobha's family consumes 60 liters of water so we'll be having first vertical line of 6 centimeters which corresponds to 60 liters of water one more vertical line and the top of both these lines will be joined by a horizontal line so this completes the rectangle next ayub's family consumes 40 liters of water so we'll be having first vertical line of 4 centimeters which corresponds to how much children yes very good 40 one more vertical line of same height that is 4 centimeters it will be joined by a horizontal line so the rectangle is complete let's go ahead just check julie's family consumes how much liters of water children yes 50 liters of water so for 50 liters what will be the height of the line first vertical line yes first vertical line will be 5 centimeters this 5 centimeter vertical line corresponds to 50 liters of water one more vertical line of the same height that is 5 centimeters both these lines will be joined with the help of a horizontal line at the top so the rectangle is complete let's go ahead rahul's family consumes 55 liters of water now children 55 if you can see is not there on the scale so where will be 55 now 55 is going to be exactly in between 50 and 60 now between 50 and 60 you can see there are fine minute lines where the least count is one millimeter so when we go one line above 50 it becomes 51 as there are 10 lines between two dark lines so one fine line is one unit so likewise we need 50 plus 5 so above 50 we are going to go five lines so let's draw the first vertical line for Rahul first vertical line you can see it is corresponding to 55 next vertical line till 55 will be joining this by horizontal line at the top so now here we complete the rectangle for Rahul you can see now the graph is complete now dear children everything on the graph paper has to be 
written and lines are to be drawn with the help of pencil and scale we are not going to use pen on the graph paper let's move to the next question question number two the names and numbers of animals in a certain zoo are given below use the data to make a bar graph scale is given as on y axis 1 cm is equals to 4 animals now names of animals and number of animals present in a zoo is given below in the form of a table we are going to represent this data in the form of bar graph let's see how to represent this data in the form of bar graph let's start drawing now first we are going to draw a horizontal line that is x-axis vertical line that is y-axis now in the question we can see names and numbers of animals are given now let's first label x-axis with capital x y-axis with capital y now let's refer to the question names are given so on x-axis we are going to write names of animals and on y-axis we have number of animals so on y-axis we'll be labeling number of animals scale is given so we'll be writing scale on the top that is on y-axis one centimeter is equals to four animals so on the y-axis we'll be writing numbers at a gap of four now let's write the names of the animals on the x-axis first is deer then we will leave one centimeter and then next is tiger we'll leave one centimeter and then on next one centimeter we are going to represent number of monkeys then one centimeter will be left and then we are going to represent number of rabbits after leaving one centimeter last this one centimeter will be taken up by peacock number of peacocks now let's mark points on the y-axis and let's start numbering first zero next four next now dear children scale is given as one centimeter is equals to four animals so four two is a eight since this is at a distance of two centimeter this next point is at a distance of three centimeter so four three is a twelve next four four is a sixteen next Four fives are twenty. Next, four six are twenty-four. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Now let's start drawing rectangles. Number of years are twenty. So first, vertical line till twenty. Next, vertical line. Till 20, and we'll be joining this with a horizontal line. Let's check the height. It's 20 as per the given data. Next, a tiger, number of tigers are 4. So, one vertical line, second vertical line. Let's join these lines with a scale. The horizontal line we can see the height is till 4 next number of monkeys are 12 so first vertical line till 12 second vertical line till 12 we are going to join both these lines 
that is the top of these lines with uh, with a scale next let's check the height height is 12 as per the given data so it's correct let's move ahead number of rabbits are 16 so first vertical line second vertical line now both these vertical lines are at a distance of one centimeter let's join these lines with the horizontal line with the help of scale and pencil let's check the height it's 16 next number of peacocks are 8 so let's draw a vertical line till 8 one more vertical line till 8 so we'll be joining both these lines now that is the end points of the line with the help of pencil and scale with the help of horizontal line let's check the height it's 8 so here we complete our graph let's see now what we are supposed to draw dear children you need to solve practice set 19 question number one and two in your graph notebook please note some numbers three five six seven are omitted from the portion thank you